The exhibition shares glimpses of Mr. Price's early life, from childhood to priesthood, and rare images at different parts along his journey. But while Price's family has graciously shared these images with the public, it is the stories about what he stood for that many feel distinguishes him and should be preserved for posterity. A man who described himself as a laborer, but yet what he was doing was doing great things for this country. Turning a colony where people never thought that we could have become a country. They were saying we have no, nothing of the qualities to become a country. Yet he was steadfast in his belief that Belize can become a modern country in the Caribbean and in Central America and could one day play a critical role in this region. That man never lost sight <clears throat> of what he was destined to, to accomplish. Among the many things he accomplished were self-government from Great Britain in 1964, followed by independence in 1981. But while he was on the world stage striving for these national goals, he also found the time to meet with the man on the street. It was on one of these occasions that Prime Minister John Briseño met Mr. Price. The PM shared personal anecdotes about the Belizean legend. Or I remember when he was at my house during a campaign, and again, I was a little boy, I was in Standard 6, and he would take time to speak to a Standard 6 kid. And then started to ask me about school and how you're doing and what is it that you want to study. Of course, I had no clue. And then he said, um, remember to speak Spanish. He says, es importante que sigas hablando en español, porque es español es el futuro de Belice. And here we are now, where things have turned around, that now Spanish is becoming more and more important in our daily lives in this country. And that's a visionary, but a visionary that's prepared to sit with a little kid and to talk to him and explain to him about what's happening and what can happen in, in the future. What can happen in Belize's future is grounded in the foundations laid in the past. George Price was a chief sculptor of that past and his legacy is something that Minister of Culture, Francis Fonseca, says we must preserve. That niche, we understand and appreciate that we have a special duty and responsibility uh, to this country to preserve uh, the legacy of George Price, uh, to build on that legacy and to make sure that the generations that come after us um, will know about George Price, will know uh, not only uh, what they, they, they read in books, but will understand and appreciate um, this great man's life's work uh, of service to our nation. George Price was born on January 15, 1919, and died on September 19, 2011. He was Belize's first minister, only premier, and first prime minister, a title he held twice from 1981 to 1984, and again from 1989 to 1993. His tomb is located at the Lodge Ridge Cemetery. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.